Welcome to this wonderful platform. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across this channel for the first time, you are welcome. Please, if you like what you see here, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell. It's very, very important because it's going to help you to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I present to you news on daily basis on what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria and in Biafra land. Yes, Abmada Biafra. I bring to you Biafra news. So before I do that, what I always do is that I analyze it and I sit down there to watch the video together with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion. That is why the comment section is there for you to contribute, leave your ideas, your thoughts, your belief about the videos that you have watched. Please, as we are doing this, let us do it constructively. As we we'll hop into today's video, remain blessed. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate your massive support in this channel. As you post one very dramatic picture when you hear of the arrest of IPOP leader Namdi Kanu. Very dramatic picture. You raise your hands into the air and you being the thank God for what you say happened at that moment. What did they go through your mind? He said on Radio Biafra that if they see me, his boys, they should behead me and kill all my children, destroy my home. And, you know, I, I played it down, but I was... I put, I put my life in the hands of God, that of my family. Because I was asking myself, has he, has he got into this? That you cannot hear, you know, voices that are not saying, no, we can't go this way. I'm older than him. I saw the civil war. He didn't see the civil war. I know what we went through. I didn't go to school during the Civil War. I was in primary six, primary five, when war started in 1967. And after the war, I started again in primary five. I went back to starting with primary five. And I understand what played out, the casualties, the pains, the tears, the losses. My father lost his business for that three years. I was said, do we have to go through this way again? I haven't seen it all because I know what he does not know. I have seen what he has not seen. I have the experience. So, has he come to this that if you have dissent voices, then the person will have to be killed? That's why I nailed down. He said, he said I nailed down. I just, he could have been worse. Many people died. Killed many people. I said, no, I'm not celebrating there. I'm, I'm just thanking God that at least I may be a little bit free. That was a little bit. Again, I'm looking at the big picture too. Do we have to go this way again? Because my people will say, if elders are not at home, children may wear snakes and call it necklaces. So if not Biafra, how you will propose, say, make, uh, how you will propose, say, make these issues of marginalization where the South East they complain about? And indeed, other, other, other regions, other ethnic groups, they complain. how you will propose make them solve this issue? The only thing I want, me I want, federal government to do is to give Igbo people additional states. I've been advocating for that for years now. Just one state. Because we work hard in this country. We built Abuja. Sizable number of Abuja. We built it. If all the governors gather here in Nigeria, all the taxis governors will be the least five. Others have six. One zone has seven. When they give us that six one, I'm going to be the governor. Ah, 
Let me go be the governor. I don't work for it. It means that immediately we have six governors. We have senators. We have more House of Rep members, three more senators, six or seven, eight House of Representatives. One state assembly, one state capital, one university, take off capital, more local governments. So many things will open up. 12,000 jobs will be created immediately. So up next, later this month, is the trial of Namdi Kami. So um, groups like Manese, Indigo, and others don't talk, say. Now something we, we must happen on a fair note. It must be a fair trial. How, what do you get to talk about that? Well, we are all reaching, but they have weighty evidence. Given what he said and what happened, do you think that they're going to blame all these boys in the South? It's about this destruction and killing of policemen and burning of police formations on those boys. He's their leader. They will bring these things before him. They will bring Gulag's Gula case before him. They bring so many things. They will bring some of these videos I showed you now. You will see himself talking. So it's an evidence. You sold yourself out. That's the way it's going to go. The evidences or evidence are weighty. Totally unbelievable. Destroy, born, all kinds of invectives, abuses. He said the president is from Sudan, that the president has had died since that what is our Jibrim from Sudan. You see. We need to be wise. Those who move revolution are wise people, are supposed to be wise people. No, you don't play into the hands of your enemies. Because once you are taken away as the leader, your followers will just scatter. So you know things say I pop will recover from this? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Maybe we there may be it's not necessary. I pop has been overtaken by events. War is no longer an option in the 21st century. Like I enjoy but I won't support it. I'm proudly Nigerian. And I will die a Nigerian. Now we'll talk about the 2023 elections where Gosios gets a new Nigerian president. I make I just ask, for your party, the APC, North or South? South. We had an understanding. We had an understanding of gentleman deal, not south. He settled. So power comes to the south, but I don't know where he's going. Yeah. If he had, if South East had played their politics, this is their time. But they refuse to engage with other people. They tie their hands with PDP. You believe, say, it will ever come, the time will ever come where we will see an Igbo. Nigerian president. I may be the one when the time comes. It's possible now. But you have to play the politics. You have to build the bridges. Okay. On a final note, uh, make I just ask this question because you mentioned them. So, now question where people don't ask. You talk about Ashura Jubala and Tinubu as a bridge maker, as a king maker, as a leader. Do you see him as the president? The president. Ha! If he becomes the president of this country, things will be okay. Oh. Things will be fine. He's a builder. He laid the foundation for the growth of Lagos. And Lagos is now the fifth largest economy in the world, in, in, in Africa. So he can deliver. He's a shattered accountant. Work with mobile. Rule Lagos. He was a senator. He has been a senator. Ah, he has a lot to bring to the table. You know, experience cannot be learned from taste books alone. So it has a lot to bring to the table. But the Nigerians that we... For always watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that. So that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.